I'm like the Wolverine, but like barely less jacked. Welcome back to the dorm. We are on part three of building this roughly four foot wide drone in my bedroom. We gotta add some arms to it or else this thing for sure won't fly. I have these three awesome carbon tubes that I mentioned in the last video. Obviously, like a normal bedroom, I have carbon fiber cutting equipment here. That actually just so happens to be this hacksaw blade and hacksaw that I stole from my father this last weekend. Measure once, cut twice. Hopefully it cuts kind of cleanish or else I'm gonna be in hot water with my professor. 100 millimeter tubes means that I should cut them all at 50 millimeters. And it is currently midnight-ish. So we have to be a little bit quiet. Being that I still don't know where my clamps are, I'm just gonna white knuckle this and use my man hands. Other than being uh, kind of loud and, you know, making a mess of carbon dust all over my carpet, that worked really, really well. I also can't vacuum tonight because it's late at night and I don't wanna wake up the neighbors. So these are things to think about if you're building a drone in your, in your bedroom. I just have carbon on the floor. I think I'm gonna hold off on cutting the last one in half because it is really loud and it is also really late. I would love to not get kicked out of this place because that would be way less convenient than last time. So frame here, frame is a loose term, obviously, exactly as planned and exactly as designed because how else would I do it? I am hopeful for uh, at least a good time for the short duration that this is airborne. These here are the motors I'm gonna use. It's ginormous if you can't tell. We can pick up a small child. I hardly know how a drone works, but I'm gonna build one anyways, because I'm determined and it's part of my grade. Propellers. All right, and here's where we are at for today. I fully intend on flying this probably indoors. And this will conclude part three.